If you want Dark Matter Ray Allen, Galaxy Opal Paul Millsap, Morris Peterson, or any other card you don't have time to grind for in NBA 2K22, my team, hit up my boy MT Plug Grinder on Twitter. He is trusted, reliable, affordable, fast, and if you don't have time to get these cards on your own, he's got you covered. Now with all that being said, you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Yo, what's good everybody? It's CP the Doc, and today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get a triple-double with Pink Diamond DeJounte Murray. First things first, I think Domination is the best game mode to play for this triple-double. You can play versus any team on rookie difficulty, and every single game is 5 minute quarters, which means you have 20 minutes to get that triple-double with DeJounte Murray. As you guys know, for a triple-double, you need 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. Scoring 10 points is super easy, and getting 10 assists is really easy easy too, but getting 10 rebounds can be kinda hard. So I'm gonna show you guys a lineup that should make rebounding a whole lot easier in 3, 2, 1. Even though DeJounte Murray is only 6'4", he's one of the tallest players in this starting lineup. CJ McCollum is only 6'3", Donovan Mitchell is 6'1", Ja'Shawn Tate is 6'4", and PJ Tucker is 6'5". You guys might be wondering why I'm using such short players in my starting lineup, and I'll tell you why. If you start some player like Nikola Vucevic or Bol Bol at center, these guys are so tall that they might jump in and steal DeJounte Murray's rebounds. So that's why I'm using a very short lineup, which should should help me get these 10 rebounds fast. So like I said earlier, you can play versus literally any team in the NBA, but my favorite team for getting triple doubles is definitely the Orlando Magic. Let's jump into this game on rookie difficulty and let me show you guys how easy it is to get a triple double in domination. Okay, so real quick, I have another tip for you guys that should make rebounding a hundred times easier. Go to defensive settings, coach assignments, and make sure that DeJounte Murray is guarding Wendell Carter Jr. If you're not playing versus Orlando, Orlando, that's okay. Just make sure DeJounte Murray is guarding the other team's starting center. Since Wendell Carter is the starting center on the Magic, he is the tallest player on the court, and he's really the only player who you have to worry about stealing your rebounds. He also doesn't shoot the ball very much, so you don't have to worry about guarding him, but make sure you box him out. And also, Robin Lopez is the backup center for the Magic, so make DeJounte Murray guard him and make him guard Mo Bamba. Okay, now I think we're ready to play. Now, I think I said this earlier, but scoring 10 points is pretty easy, and on rookie difficulty in domination, it's even easier. We get right to the rim for the layup. Honestly, since this is rookie difficulty, you can shoot pretty much anything, and it's gonna go in. Notice how we got that rebound right there. Right there, we played perfect defense on Wendell, and there was nobody closer to the basket than DeJounte to grab that rebound. Since DeJounte Murray is guarding Wendell Carter, who is the center for the other team, Team, he's gonna be in better position than any other player on your team to get rebounds and once again we're right by the basket he shoots it and another rebound yeah Wendell's not a very good three-point shooter he's wide open but instead he drives in he drives right into DeJounte Murray who's an excellent defender we clamp up and then we're in perfect position to grab the rebound and run and yeah like I said earlier scoring is very easy nice move nice drive and one for DeJounte that's already seven points for DeJounte Murray if if I make this shot, we're done scoring. 10 points already, now all we have to do is worry about the assists and the rebounds. I should have said this earlier, but of course, make sure to play the best defense you can. You don't want to give up too many open shots like that. Thankfully, that was a very awkward shot, so I was able to get right by the basket, in perfect position to get the board, nobody else was even close to getting it. Sit by the basket, wait for the rebound, and let's see if I can get an assist right here. Donovan Mitchell knocks down the three. Getting assists is also super easy on rookie, especially if you have good shooters on your team. There's another rebound. Let's get another assist right here to CJ McCollum. He knocks that three down. No defense. These CPUs play absolutely no defense. Honestly, their defense doesn't even matter. I still made that shot. It's only the first quarter, and we already have 10 points, four rebounds, six assists with DeJounte Murray. We should get this triple-double by halftime. Yeah, it's only been five minutes, and we're already so close to the triple-double. There's another three-pointer, another assist. Now, let's keep on playing defense. Like I said earlier, make sure you contest every single shot, and then after the contest, get in position to grab the rebound just like that. And of course, you guys know how to get assists. 
pass to the open man, or just pass to anybody and then shoot. On this difficulty, pretty much anything you shoot goes in. Terrible shot by Michael Carter-Williams for another rebound. Let's get one more assist right here. Like I said, the defense doesn't even matter. All we need is four more rebounds and we got this triple-double. Tough shot, another rebound. Getting rebounds is the only thing you have to worry about because scoring the ball is so easy. If we get two more rebounds, we got this triple-double. We're right there on defense. Let's see if I can force a miss. Good job by Tucker. And Murray is right there, right by the basket to grab the rebound. Guys, this is big. There's 21 seconds left in the first half. Can we get this triple-double before halftime? Markel Fultz shoots it. Bad shot. And there we go. We get the triple-double in the first half. We've been playing for less than 10 minutes, and DeJounte Murray's already got 12, 10, and 5. On 5 for 5 shooting, we haven't even missed a shot yet. So yeah, like I said earlier, if you're playing on rookie difficulty, you do not have to worry about scoring or getting assists. All you gotta focus on is grabbing rebounds, and we already have 10. It's not even halftime. Let's get one more bucket to end the first half because why not? That shot was so bad, but it still went in because rookie. Man, I think you guys get the picture. There is no need for me to play that game anymore. If you play domination, it should take you between 20 and 30 minutes to get this triple double. I really do think this is the easiest way to do it with the best success rate. Play domination on rookie, use a very short starting lineup, make DeJounte guard the other team's center, and yeah, play defense, shoot the ball, score, you should be fine. I usually play versus the Magic, but you could do this versus any team. If you're having trouble getting this triple-double, I think domination is the way to go, but I think there's a faster way you can get it done. I don't think this method is as easy, but I know for a fact it's faster. Go to challenges, skill challenges, and then go all the way down here to NBA 75 2000 2010s. This is a triple threat game that goes to 60 points on pro difficulty. In this game, I'm using DeJounte Murray as my tallest player. Since DeJounte is the tallest player on my team, that means he's going to guard the tallest player on the other team, kind of like how I made him guard Wendell Carter Jr. So yeah, DeJounte is guarding Kevin Garnett, which is kind of a tough matchup, but we're going to be fine. So this right here is not the easiest way to get the triple double, but it's definitely the fastest way to do it. It's a game to 60, and you can get the triple double very easily scoring is still super easy and I think I said this earlier but this is on pro difficulty easy layup again I will say Damian Lillard is very good Allen Iverson's also really good but scoring on them is pretty easy let's get right by the basket and boom eight points already we're about to get 10 already yeah we really don't have to worry about scoring let's just focus on grabbing rebounds just like that actually i don't want this video to get too long so let me show you guys a montage of me getting this triple double And boom, there we go, triple-double. We have almost a 30-point lead. This game is almost over, and yeah, I guarantee this is definitely faster than domination. Of course, it takes more skill to get a triple-double in a game to 60, but if you're able to do it, then this is the way to go. Domination games are long and boring, but we're getting so many rebounds, we're scoring just as easily, and yeah, we're gonna be done in way less time. Domination games take at least 20 minutes, and we got this game done in 13. So yeah, domination is the easiest 
easiest way to get this triple double, but playing any triple threat game to 60, maybe this game right here is the fastest way to get it done. So yeah, in this video, I showed you guys two different ways to get this triple double fast and easy with DeJounte Murray. I really hope this video helps you out. I really think most of these new moments of the month challenges are pretty easy, but a lot of you guys told me that you've been struggling getting triple doubles. So I really should have said this earlier, but if this video helped you out, I would love it if you guys could drop a like on it for me if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like it. I love helping you guys out. I love making videos like this. And if you enjoy NBA 2K content, I think you're going to enjoy my channel. So turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my live streams or videos just like this one. And yeah, I think I've said pretty much everything I need to say. Let me know in the comments below if you need help with any other challenges. Also, let me know if this video helped you out. I really, really hope it did. I'll say it one more time. You guys drop a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and yeah. Also, thank you for watching, and shout out to everybody who made it to the end of this video. You guys are awesome, and I appreciate you all. Y'all stay chill, stay safe, and I'll see y'all again real soon.